Hello and welcome and yes it's that time again it's time for a new anti-malware test review and we are going to take um, a vast one up against uh, Windows 11 Defender um, we have a vast on the left we have a quick look at the settings okay so on the file shield we'll just leave it to fix automatically resolve automatically and unwanted tools to resolve automatically as well analyze detect root kits etc exceptions for our script okay web shield pretty much to scan everything ransomware protection we're gonna leave it on a smart mode um, app permissions okay. firewall and yeah, as you guys can see, firewall is enabled. And now we'll move over to Defender. Let's we'll like have a look at the settings on this side. Okay, let's get there. Okay, so we have real time shield, cloud delivery, etc. Tamper protection. Uh, control folder access is enabled. Uh, we have uh, core isolation enabled. Uh, reputation based detection. Isolate the browser, we're obviously not going to use that. Um, exploit, pretty much on default. Uh, firewalls enabled. And yeah, so we're going to quickly just disable the protection for now so that we can get the malware extracted and then start this test. And just like that, we are back. Okay. So, um, for this time, I'll be using the dark theme so you guys can see the difference. I'm not a very big fan of it. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to view, but let's, let's rock and roll with the dark theme. Um, we do have 2,125 samples on each side, and obviously, it varies from disk images, um, fileless malware, office documents, applications, um, you name it. Okay, so I think it's time to get the protection going again. Uh, I'm going to activate a vast uh, now because it tends to pick up malware pretty quickly. So I don't want it to remove malware before we start it. Okay, Defender is green, we've got a green at the bottom. Uh, let's see what Avast has to say. Firewall is turned off. Okay, I think it's still turning on. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we turn off. Okay, as you guys can see, it's already, already picking up malware. Um, so I think we need to get this test going. Avast is ready, as you guys can see. Okay, so let's start with the website test first. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got a couple of files downloading on the advanced machine. So the combination of websites are obviously DDoS websites, malicious websites, um, sites where you can download malware. So we got a bit of, um, bit of each. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, pages are still opening up on the vast machine. I think let's get the downloads folder open. Okay, so I think a partially a lot of this malware didn't download because of the smart screen filter because we're obviously using Defender or Edge protection. Okay, so as you guys can see, Defender pretty much stopped all the websites except this one. Uh, vast, still busy.
Yes, your vest is definitely still busy. Yeah, so it's picking up malware in the malware sample folder. Okay, so it doesn't seem like anything for Defender downloaded or actually open, so that's that's pretty good to see. So that's good results from Defender. Avast still seems to be busy with these two, or these three. Okay, I'm just going to close them. And, yeah, I would say Defender did a lot better. It didn't allow any of these files to download, although the bitmaps, they might have embedded malware inside them, uh, steganography, so I'm not sure. Let's see if we do open one of them. Okay. I'm going to start the malware test for Defender because I think Avast has already removed quite a number of infections. Yeah, so let's start the test. Oops, wrong one that I closed. Again. Okay, so let's give these two some time. As you guys can see, they should be malware free. And as you guys can see, for me, this is quite a difficult view. Um, it's not that easy to see. But let's rock the dark theme for this one. Okay, so there's a hash being submitted. Let's give it a couple of seconds. Let's see if anything interesting happens. See if we can have any malware. Okay, so I'm going to tend to this, guys. I think it's going to be a while. Um, we don't have that much um, or that many um, malware samples in this test, but we do have above 2,000. So we'll see what happens and yeah, then I'll let you guys know. Okay guys, and the test is done. Let me fill you guys in on the blanks. So you guys will notice that I had to launch my script a number of times um, on the vast machine. Um, you guys will see there's quite a couple of them um, that I had to execute, got stuck, so obviously I had to see the malware that was stuck, delete it and so forth to finally get um, all the um, malware executed. Um, during the test, but the Fender was obviously done about a half an hour or so before a vest and then randomly just rebooted. Um, could be due to malware, I'm not sure. So a lot of the malware is now cleared of the memory. So it just randomly rebooted while I was busy with the vast. Now that everything is done and executed, uh, let me maybe move to the light theme so that we can see a little bit better. So as you guys can see, you can see it much, much better. So let's just wait for vast. Okay, so let's quickly see if there's anything funny running. Okay, according to virus total scores, there are no funny, funny things running. I can't see anything on the eye. Okay, I will just close that. Let's look at uh, Defender. As I said, bear in mind, uh, it did reboot on its own, so I think it cleared out a lot of the, the malware. Yes, yeah, because there was still two malware running, and obviously they're not there anymore. Uh, let's quickly see if there is anything on the startup items. Yeah, we obviously do have high CPU seats on this Visual Basic command line. Okay, startup, we have this um, this one here, additional.net. We have this one here, seems to be broken, and that's about it. Cool, I need two startup items, so that seems, seems to be good. Uh, okay, so we have this one that says new. Our run seems to be intact. Okay, so we obviously have this batch file. And that seems to be it. Okay, so it seems like two on this side um, and then two on this side. But this one seems to be broken, so it looks like maybe 
um, defended it a little bit better than Avast, but it's still uh, fairly similar. Okay, so I think it's time to reboot Avast, like I've mentioned, but Defender, uh, sorry, not Defender, <laughs> Windows Defender rebooted already on its own, so I'm going to count that as a reboot. Um, I'm going to close all of these open files, um, the ones that already got stuck. Going to reboot it, start the full scans, and then we'll look at the results. Okay, guys, and we are back. I do apologize for the delay. I had to wait for these two bad boys to do their scans. Okay, so um, a vast quarantine to all the threats, as you guys can see. We do have still pop ups for Defender, and you guys can see a full scan. Oops, where is it now? Uh, full scan did finish. Uh, okay. But as you guys can see, Defender is still giving me malware pop-ups. Um, I did resolve these threads, but it, this is a classic problem with Defender. What I've seen in my testing is you'll remove it and they will just come back again. So it seems like it has a hard time um, removing the threads. But you guys did see the full scan did finish. Um, one thing that I did notice was um, there was an exclusion created for Defender. Um, well, you guys can see there's a <laughs> there's a lot of malware. Uh, let's look at manage settings. So under exclusions, this is a typical attack vector for Defender is malware creating um, exclusions. So let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, there is a exclusion for program data. Obviously, I didn't add this exclusion, so um, one of the malware did this. Um, but this is a common thing for Defender, is malware um, detecting its Defender on the machine and then um, creating exclusions for it. So program data was excluded, but as you guys can see we do have still all these pop-ups, even if you say start action, it just turns and turns and turns and then after a couple of minutes it will just give you the whole list again. Um, Avast is done and then the other thing you guys will notice with Defender is our wallpaper is black. Um, I do not see any ransomware um, infection but as you can see there is already been tampered with our system. Okay, so now we're gonna quickly reboot these two, start our third party opinion scans and then we'll look at the final results. Okay guys, and the results are finally in. Um, I think it's time for us to have a look at them. Okay, so on the left for um, a vast um, couple of malware on our samples, which I didn't delete, but as you guys can see, those are the only samples that are detected, no malware um, anywhere else. Um, for Defender, it's a little bit different. Um, this file might not be there anymore, but it, it was still detected, and it's a startup item or run one. Um, we've got program data, which was part of the um, exclusion in Windows Defender and then we've got the two cookies so also um, not not many results I'm just going to dismiss that um, MPE came out clean MPE also same program data then this engine.exe and then we've got program data again and then update the local temp so we've got two temp files and then here another VB script as well. Okay, so um, Kaspersky quick scan found no issues. Kaspersky um, quick scan found obviously this VB script. Same one that Norton also uh, picked up. Just gonna move this one out of the way. Okay, so we do have the malware on the desktop. As you can see, it's sorted by location. So it's just malware on the desktop and then we've got this one installer let's see where it is okay so it seems to be this file here that's related as malware so we only got one file according to msysoft let's uh, arrange this one Okay, so with Windows Defender, we obviously have that same engine. Oh, I actually see that it's still scanning. Sorry, I didn't even know it was still scanning. Um, you guys can see how much <laughs> slower it is than the vast. Sorry, I didn't even see, see that it was scanning, but I don't think it's going to pick up anything else. We'll just look at the results. And then we have update the local. 
and at data local temp so only these um, four files let's look at malwarebytes yeah malwarebytes couple of app data here but these are just shortcuts and then malware on the desktop and that's it for the rest close that uh, Windows Defender we've got that same engine.exe then we've got a couple of VBs in the temp locations and um, we've got a scheduled task um, so this is part of the persistentness and then we've got three registry key entries um, scheduled tasks and another one and obviously another one as well okay just close that okay so this is still scanning I don't think it's gonna find anything but we'll let it continue let's quickly see our startup items Okay, with a vast we have this one but I think it's broken yeah that's broken that's not working anymore okay then we still have this um, v3 script one that's the update roaming then we have this one it's broken and yeah okay cool so not bad as well Let's quickly see what Process Explorer has to say. Yeah, just gonna quickly go through it. Yeah, so nothing malicious running at this stage according to Process Explorer. Same for Defender as well. Just want to see what this is. Okay. Yeah, so let's quickly have a look, see, add our files. Okay, so we still have a lot of this stuff here as well. Okay, so under our documents, as you guys can see, everything is protected. No ransom and infection for them both, so that's always good to see. And our pictures are good on the vast and our pictures are good on the Microsoft machine and obviously you guys can see that the wallpaper did return after the reboot and yeah, we can close this one and let's just maybe see if we can spot something under control panel Okay, so we obviously have FileZilla and these final recoveries that installed, which we don't want. So it seems like we have a little bit more POPs installed on Avast than on Defender. So Defender will clearly do better in that department. Um, I actually wanted to see if there is maybe any additional user accounts that we might be able to see. open while we wait for that let's look at it here okay doesn't seem we have any additional user accounts okay doesn't seem like doesn't seem like it okay doesn't seem like have any Fender. Okay, so no additional user account, so that's always good to see. And seems like this one is done. Yep, so it's still stayed on full. Okay, guys, so I think this is the end of this test. So let's just quickly do a recap. Um, Avast did really, really well. We don't have any other, according to third party opinion scanners, and Avast itself doesn't seem like we have any real 
IOCs on this machine, so I think this machine is fine. Um, so we've got really, really good protection from a vest. Um, no infections, no ransomware, so that's always good to see. Windows Defender also didn't do too bad, but not as good as a vest. We obviously have startup items, scheduled tasks, um, and things like that, but obviously a vest did, according to the control panel, have a lot more um, unwanted stuff installed, but in general, um, Windows Defender did good, but we still have the problem with Defender still complaining that there's malware on the system, um, and it looks like it is struggling to get rid of them, or um, I'm not actually even sure if this malware is actually still on the machine and Defender might be stuck, um, but it is clearly not happy. And that's the one that it wanted to restart. Because uh, I think this might be ransomware. Uh, yeah, so it is this one here. So obviously it's not happy about this. It wants to reboot. And yeah, so this is the end of this test, guys. Let me know what you guys thought. And um, that's clearly the winner. Uh, but I think um, when the Defender gave it a good run for its quote unquote free money <laughs> or no money. As they're both free antiviruses, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys thought. Let me know if you're an Avast user or if you are a Windows Defender user and which one you still prefer and which one is um, overall the best for you. Uh, I would like to love to hear from you guys. And yeah, uh, I'll be working on the new tests and I'll catch you guys in the next test. Bye for now.